when you're wanting to do something uh, out of the box, there's always going to be opposition mm. from a society where parents want you to subscribe to a certain thing. As long as you are doing the thing that other people want you to do with your career, with your life, with your business, you will lose. You gotta think outside the box mm -hmm. because that's the only way you're gonna get out. When you're trapped in the trap, you're really mentally trapped in the trap. Rise and shine, it's Espresso time. What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan. My one word is believe, and I believe in you. I believe you have Michael Jordan level talent at something, and I want you to find it, embrace it, and use it to make a difference. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your coffee and sip on today's message Break the mold. Over to you, Garugo Paul Das. I wake up every morning. When you're wanting to do something uh, out of the box, there's always going to be opposition mm. from a society where parents want you to subscribe to a certain thing, a, a settled job, a settled life in terms of family, and you're thinking completely out of the box. As soon as you want to do something out of the box, you're going to have to face challenges from the right. family side. Uh, after a while, however, when my family saw where I was reaching, how I was impacting people's lives, how, how I was really able to make a difference in the world, they accepted it very well. And I feel in terms of coping up with the challenges of how my friends have moved on in the industry, I think it's a question of self-discovery. I hate, I hate being a part of a mold that the world created for me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to subscribe to the mold that the world creates for you. I don't want to live a life uh, in a paradigm that the world has created for me. I want to discover my own mold. I want to have a paradigm that I have invented. You know, only when you discover yourself, only when you live a life for what you are created, is when you feel happy, satisfied. Not just happy and satisfied, you're super effective. Even in the corporate world today, Loads of people are just living a life which they're not created for because it pays the bucks. Mm -hmm. And why do they need the bucks? To pay the taxes, to pay the pills, bills, to pay the mortgages. But they're not living a life of what they are created for. So it's basically kind of, you know, fitting in mm -hmm. just because it pays you. But I decided I don't want to fit in. So when I saw others moving on, my friends, my colleagues moving on high up, I really did not feel insecure at all. Because I didn't want to fit in <laughs> to be someone else. I wanted to find myself, discover myself. Because as soon as you are successful in your self-discovery, man, you're effective and completely satisfied. As long as you're living your parents' version of your life, you're going to lose. As long as you are doing the thing that other people want you to do with your career, with your life, with your business, you will lose. Everybody has an opinion on what you should do parents, your guidance counselor, your friends, your aunts, your uncles, your grandparents, everybody around you has an opinion of what you should do. And until you understand for yourself and you take a stand and say, this is what I'm trying to do, then you'll allow people to walk all over you and you'll never be happy. Making somebody else happy, doing this thing because you want your parents to love you and be happy means you will never be happy for yourself. Now, fortunately for me, my parents always supported me in what I wanted to do. The biggest hater that I had in building this business was a guy who was close to me, a guy who gave me some advice, who was helping me on my path. And he became the little man that's in the book for your one word. I had made this great video that I was so proud of. I remember I made my first Believe video. It was a six and a half minute video. I loved it. We put a lot of effort into it, more effort than any video that I've ever done before. It was six and a half minutes. He saw it, I showed it to him because he's in the industry, and he said it, it was too long, it wasn't good, I didn't understand how the internet worked. All of this super strong negativity that an older version of me might have said, huh, maybe we should make changes, maybe we should edit it, maybe he's right, he knows what he's talking about, he's in this business, maybe I should listen to him. But for whatever reason, you know, I had enough confidence in myself and my plan to say, you know what, I can deal with it not working, but I can't deal with not knowing. I had to at least try. I have to try. I loved it. I was super proud of what I made. I loved it. But if nobody else liked it, that's okay. I need to put it up just to see. I'm happy to be proved wrong. And so we put it up. It ended up being my best video on the channel at the time by a huge mark. But even if it didn't work out, 
it's still worth it to do it just to know because to play small because of somebody else's opinion or expectation is never the right move. Okay, great. Now, how, how, do you, how do you do that? How do you have the conversation? How do you deal with these parents who keep telling you you're never going to win down this path and go do something else? I got three pieces of advice for you. Number one is have empathy. Understand that your parents love you. Your parents love you. Most parents love their kids. There might be some that are just wild and crazy and have some kind of disease, but, but most parents love their kids. They love you. They want you to win. The empathy is just understanding that you're growing up in a different world than what they understand. The opportunities available for you were not available to them did not exist. The things that you can now do with your life as a young person <laughs> compared to your parents, what was available to them at the same age, is, is it's, it's a totally different world. It's mind-bogglingly different. And so having some empathy to understand that one, they love you, two, they want you to, to win, they want you to have success, they want you to be happy. They're just seeing it through their world. They're seeing it through their lens. Because for them growing up, it was, you know, get a job, get married, stay in the same job forever, have a bunch of kids, like this is the typical plan, this is how you win, and because you're not doing it, they're gonna see you as being a failure, they're gonna see you as not being happy. And so just understanding that, if you go into a conversation, understand this is how they think and the why behind they think, besides, don't come to the conversation thinking, well, they're so close-minded, they never support me and they hate me and they won't let me win, they won't let me do my thing. If that's the approach that you go into a conversation, everybody loses. As soon as you go on the offense and start denouncing the other person and judging them, you lose. It's so hard for anybody to be taking in all of that crap from somebody else and then stay calm and say, I understand where you're coming from, right? So don't expect your parents to have that kind of empathy and understanding for you. You do it first. Understand where they're coming from. Step two is have a real conversation. Most conversations will go like what I just demoed. Most conversations will go like, you never support me, you don't understand me, I'm trying to do this, you hate me, you're the worst parents ever, I don't know why you won't appreciate what I'm trying to do. And, and you have a tone, you have anger, you're frustrated, you're judging, you're blaming. And so what are they gonna do as a response? If somebody came at you with that, what would you do as a response? The, the fences come up high, the walls come up high, and they're gonna fight back. We're at the core, you both want the same thing. You both want love, you both want happiness for each other. But just the way you express it is differently. So try this as an approach. If you approach them and say, hey, mom and dad, this is a dream of mine. I understand that you want me to be happy, you want me to be successful, you want me to, to do you proud, you want me to have, you know, make my mark on the world. This might be the path for me to do it. It may not be, it may not be the path. I might fail, I might be, you know, everything might crash and burn. All of, all of my dreams just may never be realized. I can deal with that failure, but what I can't deal with is not knowing. I don't want to be 50 years old, 75 years old, 100 years old, looking back on my life at this moment and saying, I wish that I had tried it. I don't want to live the rest of my life with regret. It may work out, it may be great. The odds are actually saying that it won't, and I'll, I might fail, and I, I probably will fail. I can deal with that. I can accept it because I gave it my shot and I know. I may end up having to go and you know, sleep on a couch just to get by as I pick myself back up. And I hope that it could be your couch because I would really love and appreciate your support with, along my journey. I think if you brought it like that, I think if you showed them how much you love them and care about them, how much you understand where they're coming from and how much you are asking for their support, I think for most people that shifts the conversation. I think it's really hard to see your kid pour their heart out and then slam them back down. And they may, they may, they may slam you down and at, at that point you have to decide at what point do you take accountability for your life. But I, I have a funny feeling for a lot of you, your parents will be a lot more supportive and a lot more understanding because you took that first bold step. And then number three is just take action. The thing you want to do, start, find a way to do it. Even part time, even on the side, go, start, do it, do it, do it, do it. Find the smallest possible way to get started. Great example in this age group I think about is Michael Dell, who he wanted to start his computer company and he started while he was at university. He was studying to be a doctor, going to med school. And he was having success while still studying and doing his thing on the side. And then he convinced his parents to take the summer off and instead of going to work at some job that they wanted him to work at, he said, give me, give me the summer. Give me the summer, let me work on this thing. And if it does well, it'll take off. And if it fails, it'll go back to being a med school student. It didn't fail, it did well, he ended up 
you know, leaving med school and, and building his company. But the key part was he started. He started, he was going to school, he was doing his thing, and he started his business on the side. You don't need to quit everything you're doing in order to start down the path that you wanna go down. If you wanna be a YouTuber, start making videos. You don't need your entire day free to make videos. You have time, you can do it. Whatever the thing is that you wanna do, do it right now in your part time. And then find every opportunity to try to hack it to do more. So Michael Dell was a summer, right? Summer, I'm gonna go full time. If it doesn't work, I'll go back to my job, right? Summer, go back, do your thing full time. See how much progress you can make. More important than even the results is more like, did you, is this the thing? Like, as you're doing it more and more, if you're doing it every day for the summer, you do it every day for three, four months, it's like, yes, this is absolutely the thing. I'm so in love with this thing. This has to be my path. It gives you more certainty that even if you don't get the results, that even if you don't get the support from your parents and your family, that you have to go off and do that thing. Where if it's only a dream, if it's only an idea, you never actually take any kind of action on it, you never have the certainty. You never chase it. So whatever the thing is, Start right now, some part-time, small way, every single day, half an hour a day, an hour a day, moving that idea, that project of yours forward. Now I've got a really special bonus clip that I think you're gonna enjoy, but before that, question of the day, I wanna know, what is the toughest conversation topic that you've ever had to have with somebody in your family? I'm really curious to know, leave it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, I believe in you. I hope you continue to believe in yourself and whatever your one word is. Much love. I'll see you again tomorrow morning for another shot of espresso and enjoy the bonus clip. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. Don't let expertise silence you. Work to find new solutions to old problems. Think outside of the parameters that restrict other people's thoughts. Just because you're a novice on the job, just because you haven't faced the same challenges, just because you haven't climbed the same cliffs, doesn't mean that you can't contribute to solutions in very significant ways. When you're chided for your naivete, and you will be, remind your critics that an amateur built the ark, experts built the Titanic. Statistics said if I did that and I stopped going to school, and that's all I did was hang in the hood, that I wasn't going to be here today. Mm -hmm. So that's why I still hang with the same people that I was with back in the hood. And I changed my mentality. I don't think the same way I was when I was there. I opened my mind up. I thought broader. I thought outside of my horizons. Like, you got to think outside the box mm -hmm. because that's the only way you're going to get out. When you're trapped in the trap, you really mentally trapped in the trap. And it's me. Me like, man, I want to make sure my people just know that that's just not the end of your life. Like, if somebody tell you these statistics, this is not you. You're going to fight statistics and go to the next level. Like, statistics said I wouldn't even be here talking to you right now mm -hmm. if I would have listened to them and tell them how my life would have been. They say one out of ten people, they're going to be like this. Or nine out of ten black males, if they do this, live this way, they're going to do this. You know what I'm saying? There's no way around it. They're going to tell you there's no way around <laughs> it. So if you're in the hood right now, you're standing on the block every day, them police just rhyme by that old lady that's looking at you, just calling the police on you. <laughs> the people who rhyme by just looking at you like, they ain't nothing, your pants sagging. They think you ain't going to never be nothing. They think you're going to be like that for the rest of your life. Like, who is Y'all the person to tell on. you that you're going to be standing on this block all your life? It's supposed to be a point in your life where you only be here for, you give yourself a year or two. You from here. It don't do no good for you to be here all your life. And you spending the majority of your life 22 hours out your day trying to prove you the hardest in the hood. You come from this. You was born in this. You When you came home from the house pillar, you went to the hood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you don't live your whole life this way for all your life. You deserve to live in a different neighborhood to better yourself for three, four years out of your whole life when you've been living this way. Probably some dudes been living that way for 20 years, 23 years, been in the hood since they came home from the, from the house pillar and they still trying to prove to the hood how hard they is and they end up not making it because they didn't prove to they self. You got to prove to yourself that you want more than what Take the hood has to offer. Altruistic, world domination, honey empire, right? I'm grateful. I understand why I'm here. I think because I am so open. I want you to think and see. It's a bloody brief life. All of you have the potential for enormous success.
If you want to know what Gary V, DJ Khaled, Oprah, and others know about empire building that most people miss, check out the link in the description for a free bonus video.